Hi folks, we are going to be covering circles general equations today. So let's get started. Now you might be familiarized with um, x squared plus y squared equals r squared as one of the general forms of writing a circle. Now you might also be aware that you could also have uh, another form of the general equation for the circle that could look like this where it's x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. So I'm going to go into a little bit of detail about the bottom equation on the next slide. So in this equation, a will be considered as the horizontal movement of the center of the circle, and then you have b, which, is con which will give you the value for the vertical movement of the center of the circle. So in other words, you could really say AB is the center of the circle. And your R is, of course, the radius of the circle. So if you have your equation in this format, it's pretty easy to um, draw a circle. So let's try that next. So let's try and sketch this graph here. Now, most of you might have done this in the previous year, but just as a quick recap, uh, our center of the circle is going to be, well, along the horizontal, you're moving 2, and along the vertical, it would be negative 1. So 2, negative 1 will be our center. And the radius is going to be square root of 4, which equals to 2. So radius, uh, where's our radius? There's the 4, so square root of 4 is equal to 2. So let's draw this now. My center is at 2, negative 1. So that's where my center is, and which has a radius of 2. So my circle is going to look like that. So there's my circle done. Uh, on to the next idea. Uh, because most of the time we're going to be working with um, equations. So let's have a look at this. Write the equation of the circle with center 2, 3, sorry, 2, negative 3, and radius of 9. Now we know that A is equal to 2, B is equal to negative 3, and the radius is equal to square root of 9, which would be... 3. So writing our um, general equation, we can replace all our a, b, and r, and we should have the equation as, as x minus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 3 squared. Just realize my radius is actually missing here. Well, anyway, just notice that the how the b is equal to negative 3 in this case, but when you actually put it into the equation, it actually becomes positive 3. That's because you've got y minus b, and minus and minus, of course, changes into positive. Okay, moving on to another type of question. Write the equation of the circle with center 2, 1, and passing through negative 1, 1. Now, unfortunately, we don't know the radius of this circle. So we're still going to start out with the usual. So we're going to have x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. Now we know the values of a and b because we have it here because that's the center of the circle. So this would be x minus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals r squared. Now we have been given the values of x and y because x and y is actually here. So we can substitute these values and find out what the radius is going to be. So we would then have 
negative 1 minus 2 squared plus 1 minus 1 squared equals r squared which means we're going to end up with negative 3 squared plus 0 is equal to r squared or in other words r squared is equal to 9 therefore the radius is equal to 3 and the equation for this particular circle will be x minus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 9. So it doesn't matter if you write it as 9 or 3 squared because I mean at the end of the day they're both the same thing. Alright, that's all from this session. Thanks for watching.